R.E.M. with Orange Crush on XFM 104.9. Well, then he's only 20 minutes to go. I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve and Carl. Carl, what did you point? What did you point to me then? Just now, reminded me. Go on. O Orange Crush. Do you know we were talking the other night about contraceptives? Uh, no, you said to me. Uh, I've got to do lots of own work. You look up how they used in the olden days how they used to use elephant dung as a contraceptive. <laughs> and I went, what? And he went, no, look up. You make me give me those things. I said, I don't know. Was it they put when you're running round with dung on the end of your knob? No woman really wants to go near. Is that how it worked? And he went, come on, you give me things to do. If you've just written a PhD on how to use elephant dung as a contraceptive, please get in touch. And I'll give the number in a minute. It's not elephant. It was crocodile. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why? But, um, yeah, orange Sorry, crush. Sorry, you can't- no, no, whoa, 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 whoa. What? Back. <coughs> what do you mean, it was crocodile dung? What, how did they use crocodile dung as a contraceptive? I don't know. Right, go on, Orange Crush, yeah. So Orange Crush, um, what it was, I, I was trying to look up that, that thing about, um, crocodile stuff, mm. using it, and, um, I came up with another one saying that they used to use a lemon, sort of shaped, right? And the um, put it put it on, and the citric the um, citric acid citric acid in it kill the would kill the sperm. Right. So they would sorry they would wear the lemon on the end of the knob. Was that whilst... erotic? <laughs> it worked. At least not try anything, Carl. Mate, that <laughs> yeah, works. Yeah, yeah. If the ladies like that, <clears> I mean, does it? Could it be anything? Could it be like a uh, you know a melon? Kumquat. Yeah, maybe in my in my case. What's those hairy ones? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that uh, just reminded me when it, orin Orange Crush. Well, thanks very much for that, Carl. It's, uh, and that, I didn't even ask him to. No, 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 no. That. no. Just... So Orange Crush reminded you of the lemon contraceptive. Mm. Okay. Jolly good. Jolly you could good. use it as a little lemon squeezer, couldn't you? It could be like a novelty lemon squeezer. You just stand in the kitchen, <laughs> and then when someone wants to just come along and go yeah. <laughs> on the end of your. Did yeah. you make this uh, lemonade yourself? Uh, yes, I I did. Did. It tastes funny. <laughs> it tastes funny. Uh, okay, um, yeah. Anyway. Do, do you, would you, Carl, this is a quick question to you, would you ever sort of find yourself in a situation where you might confuse a woman's breasts with mountains? <laughs> is that a concern for you, do you think? No. Not, not a problem for you? Well, not if they're, not if they're small and humble, I would. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. That's what, fingers crossed. If they were small <laughs> and humble, then I'd, I'd pretty much not confuse them with mountains. Thank God, but I mean, if they were large and, and sort of pendulous. And with, like, like, quite rocky with snow on top. <laughs> exactly. Then I'd go, hold on, love. Wait a minute. Hold on, love. I was into this, but now exactly. it, I feel like I'm alone. Carl, do you know what we're talking about? Who's, who has, who has done that? I'll Who's give you a clue. One more time. See, my breasts are small and humble, so you don't confuse them with mountains. <laughs> Shakira. It's a lyric it's that taking the nation by with. storm. It's quite a nice song. It's got another. Uh, it's very much like. It sounds a bit like uh, Men at Work down under. Yeah, it's got the pan pipe. Is this uh, what's its kid? Who? Um, Julio Inglesius. <laughs> no, it's Shakira. Consequently, uh, the word Shakira there being mentioned. I haven't heard of him. Okay, she's a big Latin star apparently, big Latin American star. Uh. And uh, anyway, just sing it again for us. See, my breasts are small and humble, so you don't confuse them with mountains. <laughs> Which is a concern, it was always a concern. Definitely. She, I said a number of times she's woken up and there's been a fat bloke with a beard and a little, a little Sherpa. She goes, what are you doing? And they go, we're just trying oh. to climb this map. Look again. Oh, sorry love. Oh, it's your tits, I didn't realise. Oh, tits, we thought we were in I can't K2. believe it. I can't, well can we camp here? You can't camp on my tits for the night, no. Well why are you climbing them? Well I Because they confused. were there. Well they're small and humble, what are you mental? <laughs> <laughs> Carl, I love that look of Carl. Carl is looking back and forth. You know when, it, when you sort of uh, uh, you go t t to a cat and it looks back and forth between two people. That's very much like Carl's looking at us now. Or when like a child sees a midget or something in the street. <laughs> They're just transfixed, aren't they? And the parents oh, get those there. When we were pushing um, Ash, just the, our producers uh, in a wheelchair, and we were pushing he's through the midget. We should make no, he's not a little midget. He's not tall. But um, we were pushing him through the BBC and this little kid just came up and just stood in front of him and looked at him. Yeah. <laughs> I just laughed. It was funny. <laughs> do you do that? I imagine that you get caught staring at him. Yeah, do you go out to people? Do you go out to people with problems and go, Mummy, is that a monster? Well, I was telling you one about when I used to go with my dad in the taxi. Oh, yeah. Well, what this story? Well, um... Your father was a taxi driver? My dad used to, he had loads of jobs. Mm. Which he did back then. They don't do that anymore, do they, people? Don't. <laughs> Don't have a variety of stuff. Sure. But um, it, one, at one point, 
He had a black cab, and I, I used to uh, used to go with him. He used to get a, like a, a beer crate and put it in the front of the black cab. Yeah. Sort of sit just next to the meter. Yeah. And um, <laughs> anyway, we got this call, and uh, like the guy on the end of the radio said, "Oh, you've, you've got uh, you've got your son with you, haven't you?" So he said, "Yeah." He said, oh, it's just like you know, we've got a pick up at uh, number eleven Village Lane or whatever." And he said, oh, "All right." And it was this woman. It was like a woman version of the Elephant Man. Wow, the Elephant Woman. Yeah, it looked. Like <laughs> it, it, looked it, it was really oh. strange because I was in the front of the cab, and um, when you're a kid, you, if you if something looks odd, you, you're a bit scared of it, aren't you? Yeah. And my dad was like, "Look, be all right." And we're, we're driving towards just her. Look at her, don't worry, son, I've got loads of buns. And just to I think I'll just throw one down the street if it's just you're, right after you're it. You're being mean, right? How, old, a little bit, yeah. How old were you, 18? No, I was, I was about 12 or sure. something like that. 11, 12. Hmm. And as we got closer to her, it looked like she, she, she was holding, like, a bag of spuds on her shoulder. For a snack. <laughs> right. And her head was all a bit mangled and messy and that. And uh, my dad says, my dad said, Whatever you do, don't stare at her face. Yeah. And she got in the back. Because you turn into stone. Well, <laughs> she got in the back, and I, I had like the mirror, the, dri the driver's mirror thing, yeah. and sort of having a, having a look, trying to work out. And I really, I mean, he said, don't stare at her face. I couldn't work out where her face was. <laughs> it was that. It was that weird. <laughs> oh God. So I'm not sure you're from Manchester. I think you're from like Narnia or something. <laughs> Yeah, you or, got frog or, boys walking yeah, around the Lord of the Rings. They've the, the got like the claws of a lobster and the and the head of a toad. Yeah, and you got women getting in with spuds for heads. I mean, what what this sort is not of what is this, this is not place? The place you grew up. This yeah, is mad. Oh, you can't believe it in London, can you? You come down and you go, look, symmetry. It must be amazing. It must be a, a thing to do with upbringing, though, mustn't it? And because again, do you know I've said to you before years ago when I was a kid and didn't have any worries, good-looking lad, mm. you go through it a bit. Have a few more worries, and you look knackered. <laughs> now back there, there's a lot more worries and stuff, so you get a lot more freaks. Whereas in London, everyone's like happy, aren't they? Got I love the money. fact that stress can cause your <laughs> fingers to fuse and your heads yeah. to grow. No, but if, if she like... must have been really stressed to have a head. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. She what, was pretty, yeah, was well, she an accountant or something? Mm. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. But. but but what does she do? What does she say? Where was she, she going, in? by she the way? Got, she couldn't speak. London <laughs> Zoo, please. <laughs> I think she, she, was, she was going to like to a the fair. Shop. <laughs> Serious, <laughs> honest to God. <laughs> On my mum's life, she was. Because at the end of the day, that's a good thing with animals. They don't judge you, do they? She's not she an animal. animal. She's a human being. She's not actually an elephant. No, but she You know the elephant man was not actually an elephant. <laughs> you understand that? He's got no elephant genes in him at all. No. That was just a cruel name people gave him. Yeah. No, it's the name of the disease, isn't it? Elephantitis. <laughs> look, so listen, so this woman, why was she going to a pet shop? <laughs> she was going to a pet shop? Who wants to find a husband? Is, it... <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is this true? No, it is true, yeah. Oh, I'm, God. I'm not, I'm not taking the mickey because it must be so, really bad for you. Of course you. it is. Oh, 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 I'm, yeah, just... I'm going on to you today about cutting myself shaving. Yeah. I was going on about that. To think that she, I mean, she's probably not alive now, but to <laughs> think. But what you're saying, you're going to say this is a worse problem than a little cut shaving, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? The I think you're right. Like, just, there's a couple of key questions I need to ask. One, if she couldn't talk, yeah. how did she tell your dr father where to drive it? Did she ever get on the nose? Did she point home? with her nose? <laughs> yeah. Right, this has got silly. Pick your song. But and also, <laughs> finally, where did you say she lived again? It was like in a village. A little small village. Right. Um, just and heading out of the way. All I'm saying is we could maybe get like some sort of coach, book some coaches, get a coach party out there to have a look at her. <laughs> and, and, uh, uh, and now <laughs> you can make some lemonade. The offspring of a woman and some spuds. Yeah. <laughs> Please <laughs> enter at your peril. Should it give me a shiny shilling? Wow. Oh, that's terrible. Well, I'm going to play um, a little bit of teenage fan club song for uh, the lovers here. We left it very late, which we've been just uh, you know rapping with uh, Carl P here, and this is I Need Direction. <laughs> 